Well, guys, it's uh, week seven. We have no power. Hey, guys. Um, another week of youth ministry on quarantine. Uh, power's out here. You can tell we got the candles going. <laughs> Pretty hot in here, but uh, I'm making do. Welcome to youth ministry on quarantine week seven. Really struggling here. I mean, this this quarantine has really been dude, tough dude, for all of dude, us. Come on, what? you gotta come check this out, dude. What the heck? I'm trying to show the youth that I'm suffering. Turn the light off. The, the, God, get out of here. Like I said, really suffering here. Um, no power at all. It's a real struggle. Hi everyone. Welcome to another week of our youth ministry on quarantine. Um, this week's going to be a little bit special because our whole video is going to be dedicated to our seniors. Seniors, we've been just so amazed and so impressed with the grace with which you've handled um, this season with coronavirus shutting everything down. You all are truly amazing, and we are so grateful for all the memories um, and how you've impacted our community and our lives at St. George's. And so we just wish you the best. Um, we're so happy for you in this next season of your life, and we love you guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Marshall here. I'm at my brother's house because I'm still without power, but the show goes on. So here's our verse of the week this week. It comes from Psalm 56, verses 8 and 9. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. And these are some kind of crazy verses talking about just this intimate knowledge that God has of us, right? Uh, you have kept count of my tossing. It's like God knows when we toss and turn, when we're fearful, when we're doubting. Uh, he keeps our tears in his bottle. You know, this is very intimate image of every time we cry, every time we're sad or disappointed, God actually keeps those tears with him, right? In his little bottle, metaphorically. Um, but it's such a unique image of God cares about the things that break our hearts, the things that matter to us, um, our sadnesses, all of that. Uh, so, First bit of advice and encouragement I'd like to give to our seniors, those going away, class of 2020, is that God intimately knows you. Um, he is so aware of what makes you tick and what drives you and what annoys you. He knows you better than you know yourself. And this should give you great encouragement because God still loves you, right? That's the second thing that we see here. At the end of verse nine, it says, this I know that God is for me. So the psalmist is intimately known and he, because of that, he feels that God is so for him, right? God's knowledge complements his love for you. And we see this ultimately in Jesus, right? We know that God intimately knows us because Jesus put on flesh, he became man. He knows all of our struggles because he was a real person too, right? Um, and we know that God is for us because God rejected Jesus on the cross. On the cross, Jesus was given the blame and the punishment that we deserve so that God always looks at us in love, right? In the love that he had for Jesus, it is now ours. So God knows us intimately and he is for us. And everything we do, that gives us so much hope in the midst of changing circumstances or fear of the future. So I hope that you can lean into that this week, that God knows you intimately, he knows your tossings, he keeps your tears in his bottle, and he is totally for you. Hey guys, so this week on our Loving Your Neighbors segment, um, we're really going to be focusing on all of our graduating seniors. It's been a tough year for a lot of them, and they don't necessarily get the congratulations and the celebration that you normally get after four years of difficult schooling. So we really want to appreciate and congratulate them this week. So our challenge, our task for the week is to find a way to show your appreciation and love to a graduating senior you know whether that's a cousin, neighbor, sister, brother, friend, whatever that is, find a way to either write them a letter, send them a card, send them some sort of gift, give them a call, shoot them a text, just let them know that you appreciate them and congratulate them for the incredible accomplishment that they're celebrating as they graduate four years of school. So make sure you show love, show your neighborly love to a senior that you know sometime this week.
Marshall's giving up. <laughs> he bopped his head on the door.
Congratulations, class of 2020. Also, we got to celebrate Youth Sunday this past weekend, so if you did not see that, please check it out. It's pretty awesome, um, especially Spencer Grahofsky. Well done on your testimony. That was really incredible to hear. Uh, we're so proud of you and all of our seniors for that matter. And we also will have our last youth group this week, and we'll still finish up some Sunday school stuff, but then we'll be coming out with all new stuff for the summer. <laughs> Um, gang, you want to say what just happened? Uh, I was getting into the car and uh, <laughs> hit myself with the door. It doesn't happen often. But it has. It has happened. <laughs> it, it was one of the most bizarre things Very I've ever bizarre. seen. All for the seniors. They did it for the seniors, honestly. <laughs> Drop-offs have been cut short. <laughs> We're now caught in a torrential storm, as you can tell by you tomorrow. our balloons just dying in the rain. Go, go, go.